June is looking to be a pretty big month. The center and Shastasaurus is almost here. Two new Ark Editions creatures have now arrived on the island and scorched earth and console premium mods have a new release date. And sadly, Studio Wildcard have recently experienced a number of employee layoffs. Also, if you were hoping for further details regarding the Power Rangers collaboration announcement from Friday, well, there wasn't any, which is what I expected because of the way they teased it. I'm sure news on that will come much nearer the time. But we've got lots more content coming before then, and some of it has just landed in the game. So let's see what's going on. As always, survivors, if you want to keep up with all the latest art news, well, that subscribe button might just help you. Thanks, pal. We got a little bit of an update on the progress of the center map, the first of the non-story maps coming to Ark Ascended. The release date has been moved back a day to June 4th to ensure a smooth rollout, whatever that means. Not quite sure the difference between Monday and Tuesday, but at least it is still on track for releasing in just over two weeks from now. We got another glimpse of the Shastasaurus, which unfortunately doesn't include the submarine saddle, which is the thing that I personally want to see. The picture does depict the Shastasaurus coming out of the water. Whether that's an animation that the Shasta will be able to do in the game isn't quite clear yet. Just to remind everyone, because I still see people unaware of this, the center is not going to be double the size of what it was in Ark Evolved. You'd be surprised how many people I still see claiming that it is doubled in size. It's not. It is the same size as it was before, which is double the size of the island. That misunderstanding in Ark's announcement was rectified pretty quickly, but word spread even faster. The Ark additions Ceratosaurus and Cephactinus have both finally dropped into the base game. This means these creatures will now be spawning without the mods and yes they are on all official servers. If you already use the mods you'll need to keep them if you have any tames you don't want to lose. The Ceratosaurus is spawning on both the island and scorched earth. They've released a dossier image for it. The creature is said to have only received some minor tweaks in stats compared to the mod version and it may take a bit longer to get blood drunk during the taming process. It also is meant to have a bit of a buff in its healing ability. The Cephactinus is spawning on the island. Whether this one will come to the center as well we don't know yet but considering that map is so large with more water than land I'd be surprised if they don't add it to that one too. Now the Cephactinus is described as being a creature that will even attack Megalodons and Moses. Finally, the Megalodons will have some competition. It is also said to have the ability to make creatures bleed and this is the wild version. I remember when they gave this ability to Megalodons and it was a bloodbath until they later removed it from wild creatures. Interesting to see how this one plays out. Premium mods are finally arriving on console but not quite at the same time. Xbox and Windows will be getting premium mods on May 20th whilst PlayStation will be getting them a bit later but is said to be within the next week. They are still in the certification process with Sony so it's just a matter of waiting for them to finish that. Studio Wildcard has sadly suffered a number of layoffs with six developers being let go. Game developer reached out to Wildcard about this who reassured that the unfortunate layoffs will not impact the development schedule for Ark Survival Ascended and Ark 2. The Studio Wildcard CEO Doug Kennedy posted on LinkedIn supporting one of those developers and stated that based on some directional changes from our office in China we have a few team members who had some overlap clearly indicating that the need for reducing headcount came down from snail games it is a very unfortunate situation for all those involved and I wish them all the best in finding a new venture as I mentioned we are still left wondering what exactly this Power Rangers collab is and who exactly is making the content but even though we're only one month away from the supposed release date I doubt that we will hear anything further on it until very close to the release date. But now it's time for me to go and check out the new creatures in the game. Thanks for watching and subscribe to keep updated.